Hi and welcome! In this video tutorial, you will get to know the menu Crane Settings in the EMS4 display. You will learn how to use the display to adjust the drives, regulate the lifting capacity, adapt the assistance systems and rescale the working range. In the crane settings, in the first item of the submenu, you will see an overview of all the functions whose settings you can change. Drives, load capacity, assistance systems and working range. You can either tap on the setting buttons here in the overview or tap on the icons in the submenu. The mask behind the buttons is always the same. If you open the settings for a function in the overview, for example, we now open the settings for the buzzer function in the assistant system function, then you automatically jump to the corresponding mask in the submenu. So it really doesn't matter whether you work in the submenu or in the overview. This icon in the right corner will always take you back to the overview. In this menu, you can either change crane settings or only view them. If the settings button is white, then you can open the mask to adjust it. When it's gray, then the function is not available. If you cannot tap on an icon, then it's either not available in your crane configuration or can only be changed by an authorized specialist. A lock symbolizes that the crane setting cannot be changed during crane operation. All right, now let's move on to the individual functions that you can adjust in the crane settings. In the drives function, you can adjust the slewing gear, hoist gear, luffing gear and, if available, the chassis. Here you can set the slewing gear mode and drive speed. Here you can reset all data to the default settings. Here you can come back to the overview. You can also set the drive speed for the hoist gear and the luffing gear. Here you can also change the braking distance. In the lifting capacity mask, you can switch a load capacity reduction off, on or externally controlled. By turning on the reduction, you activate these number boxes. With a tap on the numbers, you can set individual values. Here, you decide whether the reduction should take place over the entire load curve or only in a certain range. Here, you can switch between the strands. In the mask for the assistance systems, you can adjust the sounds. You can play a test tone, set the pitch of the different beeps and activate or deactivate the tones. At the top, you can adjust the volume. To do this, press the pencil icon or move the slider. Here you can set whether the slewing gear should increase in speed continuously when you use the joystick in the steering position or on the radio remote control. If you want to adjust the slewing gear speed in stages, you can activate the function here. Then you can enter the speed in percentage into the number fields. Here you can turn the construction side lights off and on. In the working range screens, you can enable or disable the workspace boundary. Here you can choose which protocol to use for anti-collision monitoring and see when it was last changed. Here you can see the current lowering depth as well as the current reach. If you want to adjust the lowering depth, you can rescale it here. 
If you're working on the 710 HCL, then you can do the same for the flight chip here. Things to remember. Use the split screen to view the crane data the way you need it. At the top, you can display current operating screens from the home menu. At the bottom, you can operate the main menu. In the overview, you can swipe right to see all the functions that you can set here. You can also see the same masks in the submenu. Active buttons are blue. Buttons that you can press are white. Buttons that are not available are gray. If you see a lock, the change of this function is blocked during crane operation. Good job! You are now familiar with the crane setting menu and can adjust the drives, regulate the lifting capacity, adjust the assistance systems and rescale the working range. Congratulations on your new knowledge about the EMS4 and TCOS.